Welcome to MD Reductio ad absurdum Reducing to the absurd or proof by contradiction In math, this is a method of an indirect proof So you prove a statement P is true by proving that the negation of P is false because a statement cannot be true and false at the same time it must be either true or false so if the negation of P is false then we have to accept that the statement P is true a mathematician GHRD described this method is like sacrificing the whole game but you can still win in the end Let's take an example. <clears throat> this is a proof by Euclid. He proved that there are infinitely many prime numbers. That's proposition P. To prove that, he started with the negation of P. We call it proposition of not P. Suppose there are only finitely many prime numbers. So for illustration, let's just pretend that 2, 3, and 5 are the only primes. Then we can construct a number N which is the product of all those prime numbers plus 1. So in our illustration, 2 times 3 times 5 plus 1 is 31. In doing so, then we have a number n, which is larger than 1, but not divisible by any other primes. So by definition, n itself must be prime. So that contradicts the proposition of not p. The proposition of not P leads to contradiction, hence we should take the proposition as false. So we must accept that proposition P is true. Another example is the square root of 2 is irrational, that's proposition P. We prove this by supposing that the square root of 2 is rational, that's proposition of not P which means it's a fraction that can be written as a over b where a and b are simplified to lowest terms so they do not have common factors but we can write that a square is equal to 2b squared hence a itself is an even number but if a is an even number then we can write that a is equal to 2c and so a squared is equal to 4c squared. <clears throat> we substitute this into the previous equation and we obtain that 4c squared is equal to 2b squared. Hence, b is equal to 2c squared and therefore b itself is also an even number. So we have both a and b even numbers so they do have a common factor. 2 is a common factor. That contradicts the proposition that they do not have common factors. So proposition of not P leads to a contradiction. Hence, proposition not P is false. So we must accept that P itself is true. That's all I have to say now. Thanks for watching. Bye.